If you saw the product review for the Reef Glass Skimmer, you can see it there operating in the back right corner, uh, you'll know that I had to make changes to what was a mesh lid on the 29 gallon cube to accommodate the position of the skimmer. So we came up with this. The problem with this was light penetration. I lowered the light fixture thinking that that would get around some of the blocking of light by the egg crate and what it did was change the angle of the light so that right in front here is very dim and that's okay but the zoos really weren't growing to their full potential. I think they really were not getting enough light. So had a bit of a brainstorm and came up with another solution to this problem. So we started out with this, the basic mesh lid that was made to fit exactly over the tank and worked perfectly from side to side. So then what happened was we got the reef glass skimmer and I needed something that was going to allow for the positioning of the skimmer, which was this notch right here. And so that fit on the tank like this, straight across, and that worked great. The only problem was the light. The light, the light penetration just wasn't enough. And here's the hybrid option. It's basically the egg crate lid with the notches cut out with mesh stretched over the center and hot glued in place. And this fits perfectly on the top of the tank. I really like it because it's light. It's easy to take on and off. I'm not gonna do it with one hand because it's not completely rigid all the way around, which is fine. The main thing is that the edges can sit in the lip of the aquarium because I don't have a rimless. Rimless tanks have mesh lids available for them, but it's the tanks with rims that don't. So, really good solution. Now we get the full amount of light into the tank. Oh, and look, it's a frag rack. Because guess what? Of course I needed more coral. And I went on a zoo shopping spree on Black Friday. And look at some of the beauties I picked up. Everybody knows what that one is right there. And uh, the vendor was very kind and sent me a, a specimen with two heads on it. So that's wonderful. Anyway, <laughs> yes, because don't you know, I always need more coral. This is the favorite spot of the yellow clown goby to sit and wait for me to feed them. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I digress. The next thing I have to do is get all of those up onto the rocks and um, get things going to start filling in that space. I'm very happy now though with the amount of light that's coming in the tank. It's much better with the mesh in place of the egg crate. We really don't have any dark spots um, that were created by the light having to travel diagonally through the depth of the egg crate. It was just blocking so much light the only shadow I have right now, of course, is from the frag rack. But that's gonna go away in the next couple of days. So, super happy with that modification. It was the right thing to do and um, solving all the problems, starting with a mesh lid, needed to accommodate the skimmer, went to egg crate, cut out too much light, and now we have this, which I kind of feel like Goldilocks. This one is just right. <laughs>